Howdy folks, Creepy Kentucky in here with you from deadpit.com. I have an interesting one in here today, something that we very rarely review, but I'm a huge fan of movies like this, so I wanted to give this a shot. The name of this movie is Almost Summer from 1977, one of the very early teen high school angst, drama, comedy, all rolled into one. Kind of similar to Fast Times at Ridgemont High, The Breakfast Club and stuff like that. Uh, but it predates those. So this is one of the very early ones. This one was directed by Martin Davison, who did one of my all-time favorite movies, Eddie and the Cruisers. And is not horror. I'm going to throw that out there right now. There is no horror at all related to this. But I'm a fan of movies like this. I have always been a fan of, you know, the meatball movies, Porky's, Revenge of the Nerds, Breakfast Club even. You know, I kind of like more of the gratuitous shit. And there's some of that in this, but not a whole lot. And this is a film that I'm pretty sure, and I did a little bit of research on this, never received a home video release until just recently from our good friends over at Scorpion Releasing and Kino Lorber. Let's take a look at Almost Summer because, hey, it is Almost Summer. So this movie, the primary star in this is Bruno Kirby, who if you look him up, you're like, oh, I've recognized him. I've seen him in all kinds of things. So he was a character actor from the 70s through the 90s, pretty much. Passed away at kind of a young age, but um, you've seen him before, right? So he stars in this movie as Bobby DeVito, who's kind of a wisecracking New Yorker character who is, they're all, all these kids are still in high school, like I was saying before, and he is a senior campaign strategist, and he's looking for someone to go up against his ex-girlfriend, who is the favorite, she's, the, she's unopposed, Christine. So Bobby, last minute, convinces the unknown kid in school, Daryl, also happens to have a crush on Bobby's sister, he convinces him last minute, hey, run. I think you've got a great chance of winning this. And we kind of go from there. We're off the races from there. Uh, crazy shit that happens along the way. Food fights, naked girls in showers. There you go. The problem with Almost Summer is there's not really, there's not much meat on this bone here. Um it seems like at even 88 minutes, which this is not a very long movie, that there's just not enough stuff that goes on in this. And you're kind of like, it's a lot more just straight talking and almost like an after school special in certain parts. Um, I'm not going to say it was a complete waste of time, but I can definitely see why that it took this long for it to get any sort of home video release. And by any sort of home video release, I mean anything. It was not even out on VHS. It's not one of those movies that I can see a lot of people kind of championing and being like, oh, you've got to check out Almost Summer. But at the same time, it's a good that this finally came out for preservation purposes. How in the hell would anybody even know this exists other than the fact that it does have some name actors and director that has done some pretty good stuff in it. Uh, Tim Matheson is also in this movie. Very young Tim Matheson plays the asshole jock character, Kevin. Um, he kind of has like the long hair, and, but he's totally recognizable even at this young age. Scorpion did do a really good job with the extras on this. They included Martin Davison interview, brand new one, and interviews with a lot of the cast, including Tim Matheson. They got Tim Matheson to talk about this movie again, oddly enough. So, Almost Summer, you can get it cheap enough. If you're a fan of movies like this, check it out. I mean, I'm confused as to why this is out and nobody has released Meatballs 3 on even DVD. That's not even on DVD. That's one of my all-time favorites. Why is that not out? I love that freaking movie. But... Almost Summer, it's kind of a basic edition. It does include the original artwork. Um, this is a kind of a new cover they did for the Blu-ray. If you want to change it out for the original, I think it's the poster art, which features the marquee from the diner in the movie. Uh, check that out there. And there are some decent extras on it, and this is fairly priced, guys. This is like $13, $14. The transfer on this looks pretty good. Again, I mean, you don't have much to really go by on previous editions because there are none, right? 
So how many movies can you say that about? I have never received anything. Everyone's always talking about some of these obscure slasher movies, but at least those had a VHS release. This didn't have anything. So this is Almost Summer. It's out now from Scorpion Releasing. Check it out and check us out over at deadpits.com. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butts. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do it. I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. For this video officially, and it's Oak Curly Jaws has a message for you. Go on over to shop.deadpit.com and go look at their team public store right now. You got some new shirts like the Oak Curly Jaws official t shirt, which is brutal and badass. You got the Gummy Gummy shirt with the captain himself on the shirt. The people, you got Uncle Bill's face on a fucking shirt. You got the Final Girl shirt. You got all these shirts over at Chop. Dot deadpit.com get them before they're all out especially the new one bedtime 1039 it doesn't get better than that so go on out check out these shirts at shop.deadpit.com go look at their team public store you're gonna have a good old time get them all thank you to all of our supporters on patreon dead pit on patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old dead pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries exclusive podcasts and much more dead pit on patreon.com if you're interested tears started only one dollar